When we come back, we're going to be up at Merritt Island, Florida. We're going to show you a wiring system that consists of two wires. And wait until you see the advantage. It will blow you away. We'll cover it right after this. Stay bolted. Ship Shape TV will be back in a snap. You know, we are honored that you decided to spend some of your precious leisure time with us today here at Shipshake TV, where the topic this time has been wiring on a boat. Now, just before the break, we were talking about the wiring involved in a bonding system on a craft. And now we've changed locations on you. We are up in central Florida. This is Sea Ray's Merritt Island manufacturing facility. And the boat that I'm standing on this is a model year 2007. This is the 36-foot Sea Ray Sedan Bridge. And this has a different type of distribution panel on it, which has to involve wiring. This is called an electronic distribution system. And wait until you see it. It's going to blow you away. It's very revolutionary. And that leads us to our next expert guest. We have Jim Habuda inside, and he's going to explain things. <laughs> Hey, Jim. Hi, John. How are you, man? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great. Hey, I'm going to close this curtain so that we can kind of get rid of this ambient light. Sure. Because I do have a demonstration that I want to show everybody. This is really cool. The automotive industry has traditionally been so far more advanced than the marine industry when it comes to wiring and electronics. And that is up until Airpax has gotten onto the scene. And I want to introduce you to everybody. This is Jim Habuda. And Jim is the director of sales for the Marine Division as well as the RV Division. And this is a very popular model, Sea Ray, Jim. And not only is it a quality Sea Ray, but a lot of people are going, wow, when it comes to the electronic distribution panel on this boat. It's yours. It's right over here. And I want to show everybody. Okay, sure, this, this is very cool. Now, this is touch, touch screen technology? Yes, it is. OK. Just a touch of a button actually brings the monitor to life and what it does then is it brings up a menu based screen of all the functions that you would normally find within a uh, boating application. Okay, now, now, now check this out. These are like icons here on the screen and we have like the galley systems, you know, like the lights and everything else. If I touch this, I'm thinking our lights might dim. Wow, that is so cool. And look, they came back on, okay. Uh, refrigerator, freezer. So, so if it's white, it's off. If it's green, it's on. That's right. Okay. So, <clears throat> this is AC systems. This, this is our shore power. Okay. If we want to go to the things that are running off of our batteries, our 12 volt batteries, we can push the DC systems button, and check the. We can check the voltage on the batteries. You're making this simple for customers. Yeah, we've tried to take the complexity out of it. In fact, we call this from complex to eplex. Okay. Now, when C Ray is manufacturing the boat. Mm -hmm. All right. How many different monitors are they installing on the 36? Well, John, currently on the 36, Sea Ray has this main distribution touchscreen in the salon. They have another touchscreen in the galley area. And then there's smaller touch panels distributed throughout the boat. Let's talk about the benefit to the boat builder because I understand that there are a lot less wires involved in Eplex. That's correct, John. In fact, I brought along an example of some traditional rocker style switches, which I'm sure you're familiar with mm -hmm. in the boating industry, compared to some Eplex modules. What we have here is the standard traditional type rocker switches. Okay, this is this is the back side of a rocker switch, and traditionally you'd use a rocker switch to turn on a bilge pump or to turn on a stereo or something like that. But these are all the wires involved in three switches. Correct. And does this include backlighting? Yes, it does. This has status and backlighting. Okay. Well, wire is weight on a boat. Copper is, is heavy, okay? And there's quite a bit of weight here. Now, show me Eplex. Well, with an Eplex solution, you basically go from this wiring harness to this implementation. This is a bank of four rocker switches, and the entire wiring harness is just a two-wire connection. If you take a look at where problems can occur with water and with wiring, or when you have less amount of wires that can corrode, you're going to lessen the chance of a problem. That's right. Okay? There are a lot of guys that want a manual backup. Okay? And there is a system uh, kind of available, and I guess a standard, 
with the system. Show it to me real quick. Well, basically, John, the manual backup or manual override capability was a requirement by our design engineers before we entered the marine market. And what we've done, both on the DC power distribution and the AC panel, we've incorporated manual override buttons so that if you lose communication through the touch screens, you have the ability to turn on and off the channels with a manual operation. Two wires feed this, and this will feed six legs, one of these, and there's multiple ones installed on the 36. Now, if you are uncomfortable with having electronics, okay, a lot of people want to have that manual backup, C-Ray, right behind this TV screen, puts in what you would generally call a, a normal distribution panel right back behind it. But everything's always on, okay, you control it from the screen, if the screen goes out, that's when you can have control of the manual backup. That's correct. Now, it's available on the 36. It's standard equipment. Mm -hmm. I understand that it's coming into some of the other Sea Ray yacht models. That's correct. Sea Ray is currently in design of a yacht class boat that will be out after the first of the year that also uses the e-plug system. What about other manufacturers? John, there's quite a few of them that have already released boats into production, and we're working with many more that are prototyping right now that will probably be out in the Lauderdale, Miami boat show time frame. Jim, you're revolutionizing the boating business. You're going to get real busy. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you, This Jim. is great. Hey, right now we need to take our last time out of the day, but keep it right here because when we come back, we're going to be back on the water on the Monterey. We're going to wrap things up, and we'll cover it right after this. Don't pull up anchor. Shipshape TV will be right back.